Hi guys, Rob from Rob's Model Cars and welcome back to the channel. Now today is the start of another tutorial video for you guys and today's video I'm going to show you how to remove paint rash from a model. Uh, now for those that subscribe or saw my last video about uh, the limited availability of Hot Wheels, uh, Ferraris and the few that I bought, I did mention that this 360 Modena that I bought uh, did have some paint rash on it which was uh, informed to me by the seller before I bought it. Um, now in most cases paint rash can be removed, it's only the more extreme cases where uh, you will probably have to repaint the model, uh, but the paint rash uh, is not too bad on this one and I'm going to show you how to remove it. So uh, let's head into the uh, model room and um, get this model out. I'll go through and I'll show you all the uh, materials that we need which is not too much. Uh, it's just a little bit of elbow grease uh, and a little bit of persistence, so let's go. Okay, so let's get started on this tutorial. So what you're going to need is some wet and dry sandpaper. Uh, this is how we're going to start by sanding the roughness off the paint. So uh, I've got a few different grades here. I've got 1200 as my uh, as the most coarse paper. Um, I don't always use that, but I start with that sometimes. Uh, I have a 1500 grit uh, wet and dry sandpaper, a 2000 grit wet and dry sandpaper and I've got a 3000 grit sanding sponge uh, just because I couldn't find any wet and dry sandpaper in 3000 um, but you can also just use the sanding sponges. Tamiya actually make a 1000, 2000, 3000 grit uh, sanding sponge uh, and yet you can use those as well so you don't have to use uh, the conventional wet and dry flat sandpaper you can use these sanding sponges as well so that's what you're going to need first is your sandpaper second you're going to need the polishing compounds now these are made by Tamiya also uh, and you've got three you've got the red cap tube which is your coarse your blue cap which is fine uh, and the white cap which is your finish polish. Uh, now that's what we're going to do to uh, bring the paintwork back after we sand it uh, and you're also going to need some polishing cloths. Now these are also made by Tamiya. Uh, they come in a three pack in three different colours uh, which is handy because I use um, a separate cloth for each colour. So I'll use the pink one for the coarse, the blue one for the fine, and I'll use this uh, white one for the finished compound. So uh, you can see I've already been using these cloths. They work really, really well. They're super soft. Um, so that's basically all you need. And I've just got a dish of water here to wet my uh, wet and dry sandpaper. So uh, let's make a start. So this is the Hot Wheels Elite Ferrari F360 Modena or Medina, however you want to pronounce that. Uh, and it does have a little bit of paint rash. Now, uh, hopefully you can see that. So you can see there's a bit on the on the hood of the model here. Paint rash looks like the paint is starting to go a little bit crinkly uh, or it has a slight texture to it. Um, that is what we are going to try and remove today. I think we can remove that um, and polish it up back to new condition. Uh, there's some other parts on this model that has a little bit of rash as well. There's some on the doors, on the sides through here, a little bit on the sill. Uh, the roof's okay, the roof will probably just, there's a little bit on the side here, so probably just be able to get that with a little bit of uh, 2000 or 3000 grit paper and just give the roof a repolish. Uh, the other side's the same, there's a little bit, uh, I'm not sure where you can see that, there's a little bit on the door and there's a little bit on the sill as well. Um, some of the older die cast models are starting to suffer from paint rash. Uh, what we believe it is, is that the, before they painted the body, there was a little bit of contamination on the bare metal before they painted the model. And then over the years, uh, that contamination of the metal underneath the paint starts to come through the paint. So um, that's what most of the theories are on paint rash. Um, I've obviously got to go over this whole model, but... For this tutorial, I'm going to show you uh, just on the hood. So we're just going to work on the hood today because it takes a bit of time to go over every spot on the model. So we'll just stick to the hood for this tutorial. Uh, now obviously you can see the paint rash is 
all the way around this hood emblem. Now it's going to be near impossible to try and sand really close to that decal and uh, not damage it. So uh, I've got some new Ferrari emblem decals that I bought from BBR Models. So I'm just going, basically going to sand that decal off when I try and remove all this paint rash. So uh, not too worried about that. Now you may also need a little bit of masking tape. Um, I like to try and uh, mask up these headlights as well. Uh, let me just zoom the camera in a bit more here so you can see what we're doing. And yeah, you don't want to hit the clear parts uh, with sandpaper. So um, what I'll do, I'll actually just tape up the headlights just in case I slip because uh, I don't want to ruin the headlight lenses on this model. Now you can also put uh, some, you can put another cloth underneath the hood. Um, you can do that also, just so that when you're sanding, you're just focusing purely on the the hood, and it sort of lifts it out because on the 360, the fenders are higher than the hood. So uh, if you do that, if you do that with the cloth, uh, the hood will sit higher than the fenders, and it's going to be easier for you to sand. Now I'll probably just also put a piece around the. Uh, back of the hood on the front of the windscreen just to cover up those wipers as well so my sandpaper and my polishing cloths uh, don't get caught in those wipers and rip them off. So as you can see it's quite bad the paint rash I've seen worse but it is it's not that good and you think well the model's ruined so uh, you can feel it so what we'll do, we'll start with the um, we'll start with the 1200 grits wet and dry sandpaper. So I'm just going to fold this into a smaller manageable piece. I'm just going to dip it in water, uh, and I'm just going to rub the hood. Now what we're going to do here, uh, the, the 1200 grit sandpaper should remove uh, the majority of the roughness. And then as we go through the finer grits, that will remove the previous grit sandpaper scratches. Because obviously you can't polish out uh, heavy scratches, so you have to get the scratches as fine as possible. Which is why we will go through um, into the finer sandpapers. Now I'm just going to use some paper towel here, just to wipe that hood, just to show you how quick that was. Um, obviously it's gone dull, we've taken the gloss off the paint, but uh, it's a bit hard to see now that the gloss is gone, but most of that roughness has gone already, so uh, I'm just going to continue and get the rest of these uh, corners of the hood. It doesn't take a lot, of, uh, a lot of sanding to get it off, because you're only sanding off the high, the high spots of the crinkles of the paint rash. And you can feel it with your finger. Your finger is always a very good guide to, to feeling any imperfections in the paint. Your fingers will actually feel the imperfections more than your eyes will see it. Your fingers and your skin is very sensitive. So that's most of it. I'm just going to give it a little bit more at the front here, up the side of the hood. A little bit more water. And I am starting to sand through that decal on the hood. Um, it's not a problem because I'm going to replace it. And I think that's about it. So that's the 12, uh, 1200 wet and dry. And you can see there, uh, you can sort of see, um, but all that roughness is gone now. So um, it's ready for the second uh, sanding which we're going to move to the uh, 1500 so we just sanded with uh, 1200 we're going to step up to 1500 you could some people skip straight to 2000 grit but I like to try and uh, use a, a finer paper here just to gradually step up so we're just going to go basically and sand over the areas that we've already just sanded and this is going to remove the coarser scratches of the 1200 
and this will be in preparation for the 2000 grit. So as I say, we're going to step up through the papers and we're going to get finer and finer and finer so that it's actually easier for you to polish out the final scratches. Now you probably can't, you can't see it, I can feel it, but that's smoother again. So that didn't take a lot, just keep the wet and dry sandpaper wet when you're sanding it. Uh, and now we're going to go to the 2000 grit and this is going to remove the coarser scratches from the pre previous 1500. So just wet the sandpaper again and just go over the areas. You don't have to sand it as much as the very first time where you're trying to remove the rash. This is just basically sanding uh, refining and making the scratches of the sandpaper smaller from the previous layer. So I'll just keep my fingers flat and make sure that the sandpaper is flat on the uh, panel. Just be careful where you go to the edges. Try not to uh, roll your sandpaper on the edges because you will take the colour off the edge of the panel. So most of the time the rash is just on the top anyway. So just keep your, I'll just keep my fingers flat uh, and keep the sandpaper flat against the hood or the panel. The sanding sponges sometimes are a little bit easier because they, uh, they can conform to the shape of the panel. Alright, so that's the 2000 grit now. So now I can feel that, that's really quite smooth on my fingers and obviously all the rash is already gone. Um, so now it's just a matter of we need to bring the, the paint back. So we've got one more sand though. This is the 3000 grit. This is wet and dry as well. So we're going to put that in the water. And same thing, we're going to go over the hood again. Now this is going to remove the finer scratches from the 2000 grit. So 3000 grit feels very smooth, almost like paper. It doesn't feel like it's abrasive at all. Um, but that's what you want. The finer, you want to finish with the 3000. I've tried to polish out uh, scratches from 2000 grit and it's quite hard. So you want to go this extra step with the 3000 just to make your life easier. And that's basically it there. So we'll just clean that off again. You can use a soft cloth or a paper towel, it doesn't matter. Now you can see with this one, uh, I'm not sure whether you can, I have, a, I have some little white dots here. Now that may have been where the paint had blistered, I'm not sure whether you can see it, there's a little one there, uh, there's another one there, um, they're tiny little white dots, it may have been where the paint rash was uh, at, at its lumpiest um, and the actual colors come off. So I'm going to continue to polish that and we'll have a look at that. Um, we can always do a touch up with some paint just in the little dots. So um, this is basically super smooth now, uh, finished with the 3000 grit. So now it's time to polish this. So it's basically like polishing a car. We're going to start with the coarse, which is the roughest of the polish. And we'll use the, the red cloth or the pink cloth that matches the coarse polish. Now, as I say, it's just like polishing a car, so we're just going to put a little bit, don't need a lot, that's probably a little bit too much, you don't need a lot, there's a little bit on the cloth there, and you're just going to rub it in a circular motion, just like you'd polish your real car. And you want to put a bit of pressure on it, as much pressure as you can without damaging the model. We're just going to keep rubbing that in a circular motion. By using these three polishes, the coarse, the medium and the fine, it will slowly bring the gloss fully back to the panel. Now as I say, some models are Kyosho models, the older Ferrari Kyoshos, they're infamous for paint rash. If you've got some of those in your collection, you'll know what I mean. Uh, and some of these older Hot Wheels uh, elite models are starting to develop a little bit of rash as well. So. Um, 
you can see the, the cloth's now red, so that's actually taking some of the pigment of the paint away. And I'll use the other side of the cloth, the clean cloth, and we'll just polish that off. So same again, just a circular motion. We'll move the cloth around a little bit as well. And you can probably see on camera already that some of that gloss is starting to come back already. And that's just from the course. So I won't be as thorough as I usually am. Uh, just for the sake of the tutorial, I don't want the video to be an hour long. <laughs> so you can see there already, some of the shines come back already. Now that's just from the course. Uh, yeah, you can actually see the reflection in there. Um, so that's just from the course. So that's the first step. Now we're going to move up to the next polish, which is the uh, fine, which is in the blue tube. Again, we're going to use a matching color cloth. As I say, you don't need a lot on there. The more you put on there, the more you'll just have to polish off and it'll just dirty your cloth. Um, and so same again, just apply it like you would on your real car in circular motions and put a bit of pressure in there. So as I was going to say, some models uh, the paint rash is too bad and you just can't bring the model back. You will, if you try and remove the paint rash when it's a really bad case, uh, you'll basically remove, you know, quite larger areas of the colour and you will have, have to end up repainting the model. But this one I think is probably borderline with the hood. Um, the other areas of the model aren't too bad. But I think the, the hood was the worst on here, so um, it's always worth trying to remove the rash um, if you're not that much of an experienced painter and you feel that pulling the model apart and painting it is not really an option for you, then uh, I'd really suggest to try and remove the rash first, um, even if you just get rid of some of the roughness and give the model a, an all over polish. It's going to look a lot better in your display than with the rash, with all the crinkle, crinkle paint on it. So that's the uh, that's the second layer, which is the the fine. Just keep turning your cloth. It's exactly the same as polishing your real car. Now you may some people do use automotive products as well, but I find that. Uh, these to me are products are designed especially for models, so they're they're designed for this smaller scale, uh, and I I tend to find they do work a little bit better than using automotive. So you can see now that's already uh, brought a lot of the shine back. If you look at the roof of the model, there's probably it's actually got a finer a finer reflection line. It's less distorted. So that's the second one. Now we're going to finish with the with the Tamiya finish, which is the white tube, white cap tube. And again, I'm going to change cloths and I'm going to use my white cloth. Again, just a small amount. You don't need a lot. And then same again. Apply it in a circular motion. Use as much pressure as you can without damaging any parts of the model. I've sanded most of the hood here, so we're basically uh, applying it to the whole hood. Uh, you don't have to sand the whole panel. If you just have a, a little bit of rash in the corner of a panel, there's no need to sand the whole panel. Just sand the area where the rash is. You don't want to give yourself more work than you have to. most of the time this method will remove most rash as I say I'd be a little bit more thorough uh, with each panel when I'm doing it off camera but I'm just trying to keep this tutorial as short as possible for you guys flip the cloth over and polish it on the other side
I'm going to remove that cloth in there just so that the panel sits down hard on the model. And yeah, I do have a couple of little silver spots where the rash must have been lifted the paint all the way off the metal uh, and there's no colour left there. And I'll show you that in a minute. Okay. So you can see the shine there. You can see how the reflection line is a lot straighter. Uh, now I do have a couple of little spots. I have a little silver spot here where the colour's gone. So that's that part there where you get those little dots is that the, the, the paint has lifted up off the metal. So when you've sanded it off, it's actually taken that little top bubble of colour off and that's why you end up with a little silver spot. So um, I've got some Rosso Corsa Red which is very similar and I'll just use a uh, a, a, t a tiny little Tamiya brush I've got here. This is a Pro Series, uh, Pro Series brush, uh, and I'll just basically put a tiny bit of colour on there and dob it onto that dot, and you'll never see it. And you can always, after the paint's dried for a few days, you can always polish over that again. So I've got a couple of little spots like that. I've got another one on the hood here. Uh, just trying to, see, you might be able to see it there, just in the light there. There's one little one there. Um, and there's just another one over on the other side here as well. Um, bit hard to see them on camera, but you can you can just see them. It depends how the light is. You may be able to get away with not touching them up at all. Um, but that shows you the result there. You can actually see the reflection difference. Because you've sanded this, you basically wet sanded it. You're taking a lot of the unevenness out of the paint. So that's why you can see that reflection line on the hood here is a lot straighter than the one on the roof because the roof's more ripply. If you did the same as what we've just done there with the hood and wet sanded the roof and polished the roof, you will get the same sort of reflection on the hood. Um, but that's basically how you remove paint rash. So uh, it's not super expensive to buy the uh, polishing compounds from Tamiya uh, or the cloths. Um, and the sandpaper, you can get that from your local hardware store or automotive supplier. Uh, and as I say, it just takes a little bit of elbow grease. Um, you've got to be a little bit careful on the edges, as I mentioned, of, of panels that you don't go through the colour. Um, but just take your time. Uh, it's a little bit harder. I have to do the fenders here. So this is curved. Again, I'll mask up the lens uh, and I'll mask up the hood that I've already polished and just be careful trying to remove this rash and then polish it all up. Um, so yeah, so that's it. So uh, I hope that gives your die cast life uh, a few more years uh, for those ones that are starting to suffer from paint rash. Um, you can buy some of these models quite cheap. As I said, I bought this for uh, 40, I think 49 euros. So that's about $70 Australian. Um, it was new in a box, still had the strapping on it. Um, they are quite hard to find the red with the, the tan interior um, in good condition without rash. Um, but unfortunately, I think a lot of these older 360s and some of the older uh, 575s, 550 Ferraris, they're all starting to develop rash. So uh, that's a good opportunity to remove the rash of these models. So. Uh, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial on how to remove paint rash. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please do. Uh, don't forget to smash that like button uh, and feel free to share the video also on Facebook or wherever else. Uh, and yeah, that is how you remove paint rash on a die cast model. Uh, I've got a few more tutorials planned to film over the next week or so, so stay tuned to the channel. Um, but that's it for now, so I'll see you next time, and thanks for watching Rob's Model Cars.